face though, huh? Got a pet cemetery and things. Yeah. <laughs> oh. So, um. So I wanted, like, you know, I saw this TV movie today with my mom in the cinema. Uh. Called Attachment or Nathan's Eye in Danish, which means uh, the, the knife has eyes. And, uh. Or eyes of the night, or something. Uh, but, uh. Uh. I mean, this, 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 this movie just sucked. Big, big, uh, cock suck, big cock, big time. I, I, I mean, I even, like, wrote a complaint to the cinema, and, and I, actually, m me and my mom left during a video interview with the director. She's the son of Suzanne Beer. Yeah, I'm gonna watch Lars and Trier's press, press conference after this, because she actually talks badly about Beer, who is because she, she's also a bad horror director. She um, she made Bird Box, right? Which is just terrible, I heard. So, I mean, both her and her son make shitty horror. And, uh, yeah, I just couldn't believe uh, how, how bad this is. I mean, then it has, uh, it has this, like, kind of woke uh, LGBT uh, trash, you know. Or the couple of dykes, you know, that meet and uh, they meet and uh, actually in my my hometown library. That's my Lumbi library. That's that's in my hometown. Uh, so 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 we have this like Danish dyke that that just happens to meet another woman who's who's, who's a dyke as well. You know, just ran into each other. You know. And I mean, like within the first 15 minutes or something, there's like 10 sex scenes or something with them. So we really get, you know, brainwashed with the agenda, you know. And even like, if you were even like with, with Corona nonsense uh, in this, uh, in, in this, uh, in this show, that, that was like, they even brought up like Corona propaganda. Covid propaganda. So I mean, I mean, it's just an absolute joke. You know, one of the worst movie experiences of my life. You know, it it was nice to it was nice nice to be with my mother. It's always nice to be with my mother. But I mean, I mean, it also the movie. I mean, it wasn't all bad. You know, there was like a, some. You know, I mean, I mean. Uh, to be objective I mean, uh, and honest, you know, there were some good things about the movie. I mean, it's just like, uh, but I mean, just a lot of people, a lot of people just don't like it. I mean, it's just, it's just a shitty movie, you know. And whereas, you know, you look at Mulholland Drive, you know, for, uh, you know, that's how to do a lesbian relationship or a bisexual relationship, you know. Between women, you know, that that's excellent. I mean, that's my favorite movie, basically. I mean, if Mulholland Drive could, by David Lynch, could like easily be my number one movie. I mean, I mean, I might maybe, maybe Vertigo or Psycho. You know. I mean, it would be Mulholland Drive would be very close to Vertigo, but I think Vertigo would still like. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I think my long drive actually could be my favorite movie. Yeah. So I mean, I'm not. Uh, I mean, that's a that's a fucking sexy lesbian sex scene. Uh, unlike this, because I've got like no chemistry between the actors and my. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous, you know and. Sophie Grover is just playing it like, you know, like it's not, like it's a drama more than a horror, you know, like. 
I mean, I mean, it's just an insulting uh, movie. It's, it's not, a, it's not scary in any way. I mean, even the director afterwards, he, he even like quoted Scream Five about elevated horror. So he, this guy is taking inspiration from Scream Five. I mean, uh, <laughs> oh my god! I mean, it's just yeah, it just absolutely like filth and garbage coming at you, you know. I mean, I, 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 I don't even know what to say. I just stop this movie. Fuck this piece of shit movie.